Yes, hello everyone. In today's session, we will complete the concept called cyclomatic complexity. In, in our previous session, we have covered what is meant by independent program paths and what is meant by flow graph notation, right? So what is meant by basic path testing? We have covered all these things, right? These all are the concepts which comes under internal and external views of testing, right? We already, we already discussed that. The internal testing is called as white box testing and external view testing we call it as a black box testing, right? So currently we have covered the, the basic path testing and the, how we can how we can determine the flow graph rotation and uh, how we can through the how we can draw the flow graph also, right? So what is meant by edges, what is meant by nodes and what are the regions, all those things we have covered. Next. Uh, we have discussed about uh, what is how many independent paths are there for this diagram, right? So all those things we have covered in previous uh, video. If you got any doubt, you can check in my previous session, right? And very simple. How do you know how many paths we need to look for? That's a good question. So because here we have seen four paths already. There fifth path also there we excluded. So how we can determine that there are Without us, without um, uh, traversing each and every node, each and every edge, uh, by by knowing, we, we need have some mathematical calculation, so that it will be easy. Okay, through that calculation, we can simply confirm that okay, this particular uh, uh, program, this particular source code has uh, this much of paths are there, so that we need to traverse all these uh, uh, all these nodes, all these edges, right? So like that, we need we need some mathematical calculation. So for that, for that computation purpose, we are depending on cyclomatic complexity, right? The cyclomatic complexity is a software metric which provides a quantitative measure. That means how much complexity, how much logical complexity is there in, in our program, right? The main intention of this complexity, the main intention of the cyclomatic complexity is it need to find out how many independent paths are there. So for that, we have some simple, uh, simple way of uh, uh, simple three ways are there. How to find out the uh, cyclomatic complexity? The first, first, first way is number of regions of the flow graph is also tells about the complexity. Straight away, we need to know how to see the region, right? So the for that reason, for that reason. I will bring back to this diagram. If you observe carefully here, R1, R2, R3, and R4. These all are, this is a closed path, which contain nodes and edges. We simply confirm it as a region, right? That means, that means as per, as per our cyclomatic complexity, by depending on regions, we simply confirm that, we simply confirm that, cyclomatic complexity by using regions we have four right by using regions by considering by considering regions in the flow graph right now second this is this is first way of knowing complexity and second way of knowing the complexity second way of knowing the complexity right v of g is the cyclomatic complexity right so V of G in second way is very simple. V of G is equal to E minus E minus N plus two, right? N plus two. So straight away, what is E? E is HS. And what is N? N means nodes, right? So very simple. How many edges are there? How many edges are there? If you see, observe carefully, the particular this the the connecting part we call it as edges one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Right, once again, uh, we will we will we will once again we will check one. Right, so one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10 and this one 11 so totally we have we have 11 edges next how many nodes are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 nodes are there it means 9 so 11 minus 9 plus 2 so the answer is 4 that means by you by by knowing the second part by you by by seeing the second part v of g equal to e minus n plus 2 we got the value as 4 that means complexity is 4 and next third third way of knowing complexity is v of g is equal to v of g equal to v of g equal to what is that p plus 1 p plus 1 what is p p stands for p stands for predicate node p stands for predicate node what is meant by predicate node predicate node means in this diagram if you observe carefully any node suppose take this particular node any node which contain two or more edges two or more edges emanating from 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 that particular node we call it as a predicate node that means one two or more edges that is that is moving outward from that node we call it as a predicate node so how many predicate nodes are there here let us verify once again let us see for first node how many edges are there that is how many edges are emanating from it so this one is one one and this one is going outside so this one we can consider it as a predicate node so one node is a predicate node now we will go for two three node it, it also having one and also having two that means two nodes two edges are there so we can consider this also a predicate node next come to here four five it has only one edge so this is not a predicate node for six for 6 here it is going to this particular node it is going to this particular node so 6 also predicate node so total count is 3 now 8 for 8 8 has only one node. for 7 only one for 9 only one that means for 11 so that it, it has it, it does not have any predicate it does not have any node for 10 only one particular pair only one particular edge is there going outside that means one and this particular two three node and six that means there are there are how many predicate nodes three predicate nodes are there three plus one three plus one equal to four right so like this we can we can we can able to know the complexity cyclomatic complexity in three ways first one is by considering region in the flow graph second one is by considering through edges and nodes and third one is predicate zone right so very simple very simple if in your flow graph if in your flow graph this by constructing flow graph only we can able to know the cyclomatic complexity so very simple if you in your flow graph it has only it has only one sequence that means like this only it does not have any if condition then the cyclomatic complexity is one if in your program if in your graph it has one if statement is there then cyclomatic complexity is two but if you observe carefully in our in our flow chart how many if statements are there one two so automatically it will have the, the cyclomatic complexity will be four right so in this manner also we can able to know the cyclomatic complexity right so this is the important concept so understand well if any queries are there write down your queries in the comment section right uh, thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel